Okay, guys, welcome back. So, as everyone has firmly told me, you guys want to see more videos on product research. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to, at the start of every month, come up with five products that you can sell this month, okay? So, I've gone through and done the research for you, and I suggest you test some of these, right? Now, obviously, not all of them are going to fit all your brands, or they're not going to fit your specific criteria, but I've got a wide selection here of products uh, all the way from lower end to a bit more higher ticket, okay? So, what I'm going to cover off guys, is what products you should sell right now as a beginner, how I found them. So obviously, I'm going to run through the strategy, why you should sell them, like what, what are the requirements, uh, the strategy I would use to market them. Because always, guys, if you find a product, you need to have a strategy and you got to stick to that strategy in order to achieve the goals that you want, right? So if you don't, if you go into this without a strategy on a particular product, then you're going to actually just sit there and treat this like a casino, as I say. So make sure you make, you come up with a strategy. I'm going to show you my strategies. Super simple, guys. It doesn't have to be anything overly complicated, but I'll show you. So, and I'm also going to show you how to master product research today, guys. It's, it's something that a lot of you struggle with, but I'm going to show you how you can systematize this and not automate it, but turn it into a habit, right? So it takes a while to make things into a habit and you're going to find as you go along and do this more often, you're going to get better and better. And I also want to let you in on a little secret, guys. My next video, I just wanted to let you know. So my next video is going to be how to find upsells for your products, okay? I'll go into this in a little bit more detail when I go through at the end. So stay tuned till the end, guys. So guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you keep watching right to the end because I'm going to cover off all these products one by one. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step strategies I use to find these, okay? So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, guys. So the first product, one you've probably seen before, but one that surprised me still has quite a bit of search volume, okay? Now, how I came across this, I have seen it before in the past, but I actually found this with a product research method that I actually use quite frequently. And it's as simple as going into YouTube and going products to sell, okay? That's all you gotta do. So if we open up YouTube and we just type in the search bar products to sell. Obviously this is a little bit more manual guys, but it's all about coming up with ideas. There's no one way to find products, right? Now, what I would do is jump into one of these, listen to the video, go through the video, and you're gonna come up with ideas. If that specific idea isn't the one that you come up with, if the products you see in here aren't, then it's going to give you inspiration, right? To find other ones. Once you get that inspiration, you can then find five, six, 10 different products relating to it, right? So the taco stand I found in actually a video that actually talks about sourcing products for Amazon. And what you're going to find is the, the process for finding products for Google is very similar to Amazon. Now guys, for the specific criteria, please click the video above and watch this video. So this video, guys, is going to tell you how I select my products, right? The actual criteria. This video is going to brush over it, but the, if you want the step-by-step -step criteria, watch this video, right? Go through here, guys. Watch a bunch of these videos, yeah? Try and do ones that are a bit more recent. So go in, you have a look, and you're going to find loads of products just doing this, right? So obviously, it's a little bit, you know, it's a bit more, I guess, at the top of the product research process. But if you've got no idea, this is a good starting point. So the platform I would sell them on. Now... Given it's a visual product and it can be quite quirky and you could find interest on Facebook to target this, definitely worth trying on Facebook. Google as well. If you actually just go taco holders, now this is obviously going to come up for Australia only, but interesting thing, guys, you know, 2,200 monthly searches, okay? Quite low CPC. There's other people selling them. What you would do then do is obviously jump into AliExpress, go taco holders, and you're going to find loads and loads of taco holders, right? They're quite cheap to buy, guys. And if you actually go on Alibaba, I checked before, they're even cheaper there. And you're going to be able to find people on Alibaba that drop ship as well. So just the starting point. And what, as I say here, my strategy for this is get better quality pictures than the guys currently doing it on Google Shopping. Now, if you want to obviously select and see a different country, you're going to need a VPN or a proxy. Now, from here, if you can't find better pictures, make different variations. Find a slightly different variation to what everyone else is selling, okay? So everyone's currently selling a wide variety of different ones, right? There's wooden ones, there's plastic, there's the dinosaur ones. I suggest going through AliExpress and trying to find something slightly different or get some amazing photography done, guys. Why not? And you could have either a whole store themed around Mexican food where you can give people recipes and ideas and come up with a, a blog and all sorts of stuff or a kitchen related one. Or as you can see, you're going to see 
in this video actually guys, a lot of the products I find are kitchen and dining using this process. So it's quite an easy niche to get into for drop shipping and there's huge demand for it because people are always buying these gadgets. Now I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say that this product is quite low priced, but guys, that's why I'm saying make different pack sizes and fight an, an add-on. So if you can make a pack size of say four, five, six of these, say call it a family size one, then you're gonna do better, right? Now, you can also go and double check this. This sells really well on Amazon. So if you use AMZ Scout or Jungle Scout or one of those products to check, these Taka holders get a lot of traffic on Amazon and Amazon's a good place to check for Google Shopping products. The next product I'm not gonna recommend, guys, is a knife sharpener. Now, there's actually multiple variations you can find of this, but the way I found this was I went to the AliExpress drop shipping center and I clicked the kitchen and dining because that's an area that you're gonna find loads of products to sell and it's quite easy to build a niche store around it, right? The knife sharpener, the other good thing is it's a little bit of a higher ticket product so you do have a bit more room there to play and there's actually multiple different variations you can choose. You can then find electric knife sharpeners. You can then upsell people to different things within this. So very, 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 very good product, guys. So I'll show you exactly how I found it right now. So if you log into AliExpress, guys, and go Dropship Center, I'm not sure if any of you have seen this, but you can then go Product Category, come into Home and Garden, go Kitchen and Dining, and this is where I found the knife sharpener. Now, there's loads of different things you could use as upsells on these guys. You can use these silicon things here. They're all kitchen related, right? Uh, another one, just not, I haven't put it on here, guys, but I saw this. This is still a great one to sell because it's it's an evergreen product, just like the knife sharpener. That's why I like these. They're evergreen. The taco holder, not really an evergreen product. I reckon you're going to see far more fluctuations. Now, the platform I would sell it on, Google. You can try on Facebook. You're probably going to have a little bit of issues because it's a knife sharpener. And, you know, if it's got a picture of a knife there, it's a little bit iffy, especially, you know, there's kids on the platform and stuff. There's ways of getting around it, but I suggest stick to Google, guys. There's actually quite a bit of search traffic for this, guys. So if we go knife sharpener, and make sure you're using keywords everywhere, guys. Keywords everywhere is going to give you the Search volume, so look at that, 135,000 for knife sharpener. Huge, huge, huge amounts. If we actually just go to, to Google and go knife sharpener, you're gonna obviously get a bunch of ideas here as well. Look, electric, machine, stick. There's all different types of knife sharpeners. So click it, it's got a relatively low cost per click. Find a variation here, like the one, obviously this is a this is a good brand here. So you're gonna have to probably sell it less than this, but if you go into AliExpress and find it, so back in AliExpress guys, so click the product, US $7.46. So have a look around, see if you can find someone that's slightly better, but it's a good looking product, does have a video and stuff as well. Plenty of info on here. A really good product to sell guys. You can actually, you can probably sell this for $39.95. Anywhere around that mark, you're probably gonna be able to. And really good one, as I said, for upsells. There's lots of stuff you can upsell people, or at the very least, if you have a store built around this niche, you're gonna have plenty of, plenty of reasons for people to keep coming back. And that's the idea, you want people to keep coming back to you, right? What I would do guys is I would do a shopping and a search campaign right away. And what I would do is with the search, I would actually have a bunch of different knife sharpener variations. I'd have electric knife sharpeners. I'd have normal knife sharpeners. I'd have a whole range and you could then send people to the collection. And with the shopping campaign, you could have you know half a dozen or however many you want, knife sharpeners that are well-priced, competitive to the market and have really good images. And guaranteed guys, this is one that you can sell time and time again. And if you collect people's emails, keep selling to them, you're gonna do well with this one. So another one I found is the electric lunchbox guys. And how I found this was I was actually just digging through this exact category. I was doing, I made a list of different things that people needed and I'm like lunchboxes. And then I came across the electric lunchbox. And all I did was I was looking in Google shopping. You can find large search terms and you can actually have a look through here guys. and what happened was I actually came across bento boxes and when I got into bento boxes, I actually found an insulated ones as well. And I go, oh cool, I wonder if there's electric warmer ones because I used to buy products within a camping industry and we had coolers, we had cooling lunch boxes and heating ones and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good idea. And if you actually go heated lunch box, there's quite a bit of search traffic. Look at that, so the quite a bit of search volume, sorry. So 5,400, quite a low cost per click and there's all different variations, electric lunch box, lunch warmer, this, if you add all these up, it's quite a bit of search traffic, guys. So really, really good one. It's been around for a while. It's another one that's evergreen, guys. And it's one that, look, it's on YouTube as well. So there's people doing reviews on it. You've got plenty of opportunity to also sell it on Facebook. So definitely one worth giving a crack, guys. It's got the volume there. You can sell it on Google. You can sell it across the board and it actually has a little bit of margin in there. So if we go into AliExpress and we go electric lunchbox, 12.98. You can at least sell this for 29.95, 39.95.
and upwards, right? So, and I'm sure if you do a bit of digging, you're gonna find them cheaper than this. So straight away, even this one here, yeah, it hasn't got as many reviews, obviously, but it's a fair bit cheaper, right? Just obviously being an electric product, make sure you build into that margin a little bit of room for error, right? Now, as I said, start off with shopping and then move on to search with this one. Again, try and find better images than what's out there. Some of the images there are looking really, really crappy. I'm sure you can find a supplier with better images and find some good add-ons, okay? So the Deluxe Kitchen Drying Rack is the next product. And the way I found this was using Facebook scrolling through the feed, Product Mafia to pinpoint ads. So what I've been doing, guys, is obviously go into different drop shipping stores and add things to cart. So came across this and here's the drying rack, right? So so the way I validated this product, guys, this is quite a nice little store I like. It's a nice little theme and I actually quite like it for Google Shopping. It's quite clean as well. But this one here, it's one where there's a video on Facebook. It's It's gone relatively viral. You might say it's a little bit saturated at the moment, but it's an evergreen product. There's so many people with kitchen sinks and this product's been around for a long time. If you go into Ikea and stuff, it's there, but it's quite hot right now. And if you type it into Google, you're gonna find some traffic on this. What I like about it is, it's not high ticket. You know, it's probably in the medium ticket basket, but the good thing is, it's got search traffic there, just type it into Google. It's going really well on Facebook. So, you, so you've got the option of trying both of those. Now guys, if you go through and add to cart on lots of these cooking pages, if you're within that niche, you're gonna see a lot more of those ads. You're gonna be able to use that product mafia extension, which I'm gonna show you in upcoming videos. So make sure that you're doing that. Make sure you're going through, clicking add to cart, going through the funnel, but try and stick to within your niche, right? If you're a general store, then obviously try and go in general stores and do this consistently so Facebook keeps thinking you're an engaged, you're potentially an engaged buyer, right? So, as you can see, it's quite a cool little product. Uh, and as I said, I like the fact that it's a little bit higher ticket. So, what we're gonna do with this one, guys. So guys, come up with your own little video on this. Use my Facebook strategy. So, run a video view campaign alongside a purchase campaign build up those video views, create a retargeting audience, okay? And then you can you create a custom audience to retarget to, and from there, build your lookalike audience. Make sure you know at the same time you're at least got a display campaign or something along those lines for your store, for that product. Uh, have a shopping retargeting campaign potentially as well, and you can try using this product on Google Shopping. There are people selling it. There's not huge search volume, so if we go Kitchen Space Saver, kitchen organizer, all these sort of things. See, people are selling it on Amazon. It's quite high ticket, as I said. There's a bunch of different ideas. And the good thing with this, guys, what I like about it is you can then go on and make, look, small kitchen storage ideas. You could build out a blog with top 10 best kitchen storage ideas, run a very, very cheap traffic campaign or landing page views or even conversion campaign to it, and then retarget people with these products, right? So you have links within that blog post to products, have DPA ads running, have Google ads running, have Google remarketing ads going, and you're gonna be able to actually sell a ton of stuff just based off this little idea. So look, that's an idea. You could build a whole collection based on this. Kitchen storage ideas, blog post, run a Facebook ad to it, run a Google ad towards this blog post, and step people through that funnel. Make sure within, if you're gonna do it on Google though, and you do the blog strategy, really low cost per click, so you're getting those long tail keywords, okay? As I said, uh, you're gonna need that heavy retargeting because it is a bit higher ticket. And then there's loads of opportunities with this for upsells and continued engagement. Now guys, I wanted to show you something a little bit different in terms of a different category. All of these have been kind of kitchen, but pet barrier. Just to let you guys know, I did this product research for these relatively quickly. It took me 20 minutes to find all these products. Now you're gonna say they're not all perfect. Okay, but this is what I mean. You need to keep trying, 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 find lots of different products and then going, out of these five, you might test one. You might go, I like this one, I don't like the rest, okay? These are ideas for you guys. Let me know if you like them in the comments below and I'll keep doing them, okay? So the pet barrier, again, I found this just using the Facebook search bar. I just use the search bar and I type, get yours now, and I found it. So I had a look through here and I'm like, okay, cool. What video's got quite a few views? Now it's a little bit old, a little bit older than I'd like, but you know what? It's another one that's evergreen, guys. It's another one that you can find multiple variations of. And I actually went into Amazon and went, are people buying this on Amazon as well? And so so you can use AMZ Scout to get better info, but look at this, even this one here, guys, Pet Barrier, it's a little bit different though, 1524. If you come have a look, you're gonna find the other one as well here, the one that's actually in here, and it's actually on this website. So here's the product here, guys. So click through, go into the store, guys, and here it is. So 42.95, have a look around, and see how much it goes for on Google Shopping. So Dog Gate Guard, Dog Barrier, Retractable pet gate, dog safety gate, all these different things, dog gates, 
There we go. Like some of those aren't going to be perfect, but definitely has the search volume. It's doing well on Facebook, as we can see. Yeah, so with this Pat Barry, guys, Google Shopping and Search, also try doing a Facebook campaign. You can make a video, which would be perfect. Make sure you're retargeting people across all these different platforms. And what I suggest is testing again a few variations. So test some of the ones that you see on Amazon, test some of the ones that you see across AliExpress, test a bunch of different ones of this thing, run a search ad to collection page, run shopping campaigns, run Facebook ads to collection pages and individual product pages, have some cool upsells in place, easy one. Great for people in the pet niche. Now guys, stay tuned, keep watching, right? So mastering product research, guys, this is super important. So start making a list, do this process day by day, all these different methods I just did, and there's a million other ones you can try. Make a list, okay? And then narrow down to your best five products. And then if you wanna narrow it down to your top two after that, based on search volume, engagement, all those different things. Now also when you find stores that are doing well, make sure you note them down, make a list of those as well, Keep checking back on them, especially if they're getting a lot of traffic and testing lots of products, and you're gonna find more ideas through there. Now, make this an ongoing habit, a routine, and you're gonna get better and better. You're gonna get better and better at this, okay, guys? I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, guys, just wanted to let you know, the next video, I'm gonna show you, so I've said come up with upsells. I'm gonna show you how to come up with the perfect upsells, cross-sells, so you can increase your AOV, okay? Make sure you subscribe, guys. We wanna grow this channel. Come into my group. There's lots of big stuff coming. The free course, sorry I've been delayed in releasing that, but it's coming soon. I'm releasing my paid course soon as well. I've made it the absolute best Google Ads course out there, okay? I've hand on heart, it's gonna be the best one. That's why it's taking a long time to release. I don't want it to be rubbish. I want you guys to have access to the best possible thing. I'm still gonna be releasing lots of free content to everyone on YouTube and in my group, so do not worry about that. But guys, stay tuned for the next video. Lots more coming on product research. I'm listening to you. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me some comments below, guys, and talk to you soon.